The lumbar epidural steroid injection is a very straightforward procedure, one that we can usually complete in 10 minutes or less. We start by escorting the patient to the procedure room where we'll lie them on their stomach and clean their back with sterile cl cleaning solution. We usually place a small pillow under the waist. After having cleaned and draped the back in sterile fashion, we turn our attention to drawing up our medications for injection. Now typically, we'll have one syringe used to draw up local anesthetic, used to numb the skin and anesthetize the underlying tissue so that the rest of the procedure is very comfortable and painless. A second syringe is filled with a combination of local anesthetic and steroid. Now that's the point of the whole procedure. That steroid solution will bathe the epidural space at the level of injection and suppress inflammation. It's inflammation that typically sensitizes nerves causing pain. So as we reduce and suppress inflammation, we reduce and suppress pain. A third syringe is used for contrast material, which we'll use to confirm needle placement. After having drawn up all of the medications, we turn our attention to identifying our target for injection. We use a fluoroscopy machine or a live x-ray machine to identify that target. We've usually predetermined the target for injection based on a combination of factors, including the patient's physical examination, where they're feeling the pain, and the abnormalities that have been seen on MRI, CAT scan, or x-ray. Then we numb the skin overlying that target with the local anesthetic, small pinch and a burn, really not painful at all. Next, we insert the spinal needle just under the skin, and then we use the x-ray or fluoroscopy machine to guide the needle under direct visualization to a very precise target and point for injection. We'll usually adjust the angle and the view of the fluoroscopy machine so that we can triangulate and identify a spot or target for injection in three dimensions. When satisfied that the tip of the needle is in that very precise target region, we inject a little bit of contrast material to confirm needle placement. Now this will tell us that the steroid solution we're going to inject next will spread exactly where we want it to spread. It will also help us identify any evidence of nerve compression or abnormalities within the epidural space. Here's the steroid solution being injected through the needle into the epidural space now. Again, the steroid will bathe that area and reduce and suppress inflammation, thereby reducing and suppressing pain. That's it. The procedure is done. We'll take the needle out, remove the drape, and then wipe the excess cleaning solution from the skin. Following that, a Band-Aid will be placed over the injection site. The patient will be escorted back to the recovery room area where they'll be monitored for about 30 minutes. They're usually discharged with a pain diary so that they can record their pain scores over the next several days.